Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you for being with me again today. As I've been trying almost every day, uh, I make a video with uh, Russian war losses provided by the Ukrainian side. So, uh, therefore, um, probably the, um, the numbers are exaggerated in the losses of the Russian uh, uh, personnel and uh, planes and tanks and all that. But nevertheless, as I always said, uh, better to have it uh, recorded somewhere because I'm pretty sure these uh, numbers will change uh, once the war will uh, cease. And then when we're going to look back, we will not find uh, the numbers anymore. I'm going to be like, oh, I thought they were more. Weren't they more? Didn't they say more people died? Uh, like 30,000 personnel? And you find out that they were not even 30,000 or so. So nevertheless, let's go and try to uh, read this one. comes from the Ukrainska Pravda from June 1st, 2022. And it says here, the Russian losses to date, 30,700 personnel. Mm, that's a lot. Uh, that, that's as a title. And then Russia continues to suffer losses in its war against Ukraine. And uh, we find here that the source is the general staff of the armed forces of the Ukraine. And it says that the total com combat losses of the Russian forces between 24 February and 1 June 2022 comprise approximately 30,700 military personnel with uh, two, about 200 uh, personnel killed in the past 24 hours. Uh, 1,361 tanks, three destroyed in the past 24 hours. 3,343 armored combat vehicles, 41 destroyed in the past 24 hours, uh, 659 artillery systems plus 10 past 24 hours, 207 MLRS zero destroyed in the past 24 hours, 94 pieces of air defense equipment, one destroyed over the past 24 hours, 208 planes, zero destroyed overnight or during the day, 175 helicopters plus one um, in the past 24 hours, 519 operational tactical UAVs plus four in the past 24 hours, 120 cruise missiles, zero in the past 24 hours, 13 ships, boats, zero in the past 24 hours, 2,290 pieces of automotive equipment and fuel tanks, plus 15 within the past 24 hours. 49 pieces of special equipment, plus one within the past uh, 24 hours. On It says here that uh, on 31st May, Russian troops suffered the most significant losses on the Krivi Rih and Bakhmut fronts. All right, well, these are the numbers. Uh, we'll figure out later when all this is done and gone, uh, what were the um, estimates then uh, compared with the estimates now. Uh, I don't have the Russian uh, uh, estimates for their losses or the Russian estimates for the Ukrainian losses, uh, surprisingly, right? <laughs> Nevertheless, a lot of people, a lot of uh, uh, destruction and a lot of killings. Well, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.